Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome to part two. Continue on. I don't want to leave it too long because apparently I'm not getting as much, you know. Um, yes, the sound is cut out. Don't worry. I don't know exactly how to fix that. Well, okay, maybe that's the sound with the music has, so... I didn't mean to do that. You know what? I'm going. I'm not going to accept that. I'm going to file, reset. Yes, it was published by. Konami, I think, 1990 or something? Oh, well. Uh, let's continue the game. Yes, we are level one. All we'll to do, we're going to start over. Not looking forward to the fight again. Certain fight later in the game. Oh, this is what I would call the blooper side effect. You know, the ones that will ever fail. So, this is the actual official P of Sukoden. And I've actually since then restarted over on Final Fantasy VII. I wasn't even really that far in the game anyway, but still, I mean, it took so many parts because of my camera. Now, we're going to talk to these guys here. Oh, you've come at the perfect time. You can help us decide what. This is actually helpful, but you don't actually have to do this. This is optional. Who do you think is the most powerful of the six? I mean, five great imperial generals. This has to do with something I'll tell you about it later. Okay, I'll go into more detail. It's Sonya Chilla and commander of the imperial army, mean, not only a swordsman, but a magician as well, and the beauty disputes. I don't know which order you're supposed to do it in, but... I, just, I think, well, actually, I've kind of screwed up on the order here, but it really doesn't matter, I don't think, anyway. Yeah, basically, this guy here says something about General Kawanda. Roseman, of course, he's defended Emperor Barbarossa countless times. Their Kawanda is a truly great soldier. I admire him. I think General Milich is the Flower General is more powerful too, top class. At the and swordsmanship and magic and always so well dressed. Yeah, being so well dressed has nothing to do with battle, by the way, and it's kind of stupid to be elegant anyway in battle. But hey, everybody has their own ways, but still, I mean, what's the point? I mean, I might as well dress up in a suit, and I have seen people do that. I mean, there's. But get your suit dirty. Why not wear a battle outfit? Why does the battle have to have to be a suit anyway? You know, when the suit and tie, you know, you got the jacket, whatever they call it. Eric Sim is ill, the best swordsman among the five. The greatest swordsman is the greatest general, of course. Okay, now we're going to move on to him. He says something about Lady Sonya Shulin, commander of the non imperial Navy, not only a swordsman, a magician as well. And beautiful to poop, Lady Sonya is the greatest, don't you agree? Now, see, these are all clues except for that last part about her being beautiful. I wouldn't really know. I don't care. Now, you could check these out. Well, okay, I guess they don't really tell you anything about them because you have to go up and down. All right, here we go. Final person. You guys just don't understand. The most powerful general is most certainly General Teal McDowell, victor of a hundred out of a hundred battles. Don't you agree? Well, I wouldn't know about that, son, because I wasn't there. See, see, I'm supposed to be some kind of a son in this game here, so... Obviously, since I'm that son, I wouldn't know because... You know, and you're even younger than I am, for crying out loud, and you're in the army. And I'm a little bit older than you. Where does that make me? Well, anyway, we're going to leave this establishment. Well, no, before we do that... 
let's go upstairs and do a little bit of stuff, part of the exploration thing, to get it out of the way. Now let's see what you've got to say. Capital, my foot, living the high life all by themselves on our hard-earned taxes. And there you go. What do you got to say? So this is the Imperial Capital, Greg, Mr. Question Mark. It's worlds away from the village I was raving. What do you got to say? Hey, how about accompanying me on a journey? Travel is fun. Hunting visitors, vistas, whatever, uh, new friends and romance. Yeah, no thank you. Yeah, let's go. Well then, now that we're fellow travelers, I'd be grateful if you could pay my bill for me. Now, see, unfortunately, no matter how much money you make, even if you could take it, you know, even if you had something daft like that, you have to have time to get the money in this game, with or without a cheat code, uh, there's really no point, because you can talk to this guy all you want, and I think he says the same thing when you come back here later on. Um, it's been a while since I've been back here, so, yeah. Um, uh, now oh, what the heck, we'll give a world to these guys here. Take a look at this urn. Heh <laughs> heh, I didn't think it was worth anything because it was left behind by a furball. But when I had it appraised, wow, I turned out to be a solid on urn. Lucky for me, now that's a clue and a hint. Now that's... Not to say you would know anything about it when you first played this game, when it first came out, but yeah, I think it's like referring to uh, Spikoden 2 there. Because um, in that game there, it has to do with... That item has to be a very important item. And yes, it, you can still use it in this game, but it's not very important as it is in that game. So yeah, anyway, they say... They're excellent blacksmiths in one car. My friend of mine brags about the blade. He had a serpent there. Maybe I should go there to have my sword sharpened. You know what? Let's see if I can increase the speed of this, because... Yeah. Yeah, no, seems... Okay, yeah. There we go. Okay, um... Just about almost every game has, like, a few characters that actually say the same thing. They'll tell you about the runes. See, there's... I'll tell you something interesting. Do you know what rune crystals are? They contain incredible power. Really? I didn't know that. How epic. Oh, crap. I don't think I actually did this guy when I first played. That didn't sound right. That didn't come out right at all. I mean, I don't think I actually talked to that guy when I first played it, so. Um, yeah, I really didn't ha have the really chance to explore. What is Master Mulich up to? If he doesn't hurry, he'll miss his audience with the Emperor. Master Mulich, please, please, it's time to go. Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man, It's time to go, it's right time to go. See, there's, uh, not every shelf you can talk to, but some of them you can't, well, it's not exactly talking, but it's using the talk button, which is Z, if you're using it on the computer. See, there's, uh, you can find, I guess it would be interesting, if you're interested in this kind of stuff. I'm not really all that interested. I just came in here and just said, well, okay, anything to teeth? Nothing to teeth. Well... Used to be anything to take or steal, you know, from these people. You know, as long as it's worth it. I don't like that one part in front of my fancy seven, I'll tell you about that later. Wow. Mac and red half coat. Wow. Okay. I don't remember a lot of these things. I probably didn't actually get a chance to really get to read these. And this was actually off the C D by the way. Long before Emulation was even thought of. Um, it was probably thought of, but it was like probably in the early stages before it hit computers and stuff. So, you know, and I wouldn't begin to know how to emulate or get all the parts necessary to download to do it because I never actually tried, and I'm not sure there's an actual way without it being that you get in trouble. So, I mean, to all those out there that are actually doing a great job on that, and I'm grateful. They shouldn't be banned or anything from doing it or get punished. It's just because, well, there's some extra features you don't normally get. It's not a cheat code either. It's just something, it really comes in handy, but it's like, well, it just, it makes it 
um, a little bit more easier for some things because you need it then. Otherwise, it's difficult to say to, you know. I mean, if you play the game for the first time, and there's also the times if you put the game and, well, you know, and when it was first started out, I don't know how many people who actually got all the 100 stars Destiny. You know, um, before the guides came out and whatnot, because, see, in order for a guide to even form, somebody actually has to have gained knowledge beforehand. And even if I have knowledge, it doesn't mean I have everything that you probably need. Or, I mean, I'm talking about back then now. This is before I knew everything I know today. I mean, I know, well, like the basics that you already know that you're on, pretty much on your own. But, I mean, like, okay, getting on her size and S, A is Destiny. Right, I'm sorry, 108 stars of Destiny, you know, all the stuff you gotta do to get that. I mean, I didn't know. I mean, I always wanted to get them, but every time I played the game, I mean, it was fun, don't get me wrong, but it just started great on me because I was like, damn it, how do I get all the stars of Destiny? Well, I mean, I actually literally say that word. Sorry if it sounds like I'm cussing again, but I'm not. Anyway, you know, hmm, this outfit is nice, of course, but the colors on this one match better. Now, man, which do you like? Say, aren't you Tia's boy? Of course you're DVD KMP. Now, I actually don't have a good voice for him at all. I'm not even sure if I can do a French accent because, I mean, I know French words. Not all of them, but, you know, quite a bit. Because I actually went to school where I was going through classes and stuff. It's back when I was younger. And don't ask me what year it is because I don't remember that. That's something... It's entirely way too far back. Anyway, uh, and of course I must. I was called by the emperor, and of course I must show him my pussy taste and close. Okay, now that we're done talking to him, we're going to come down and get out of here. And I don't think he can come back in here later in the game, no matter what you do. So yeah, you can come in there at any time and read the shelves. I think it kind of updates a little bit. I'm not sure. Oh. So here's a person. I missed Jose seven years. I missed Jose seven years ago. Nanpo was a wonderful person back then, but now. Dot, 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 dot. Now, see, there's no point in actually doing these stews because this has to do with something else. So, well, later in the game, we'll talk about. This here happens to be a prayer. So, if you could come here. But if you get anything at all, it would probably be better if you do it later in the game. Now, I would most recommend selling just items that you could probably get better back in the game, and I don't mean urns either. Um, you there, what are you doing around here, you dog? This is the home of the Imperial Tail and General... Well, what? Your General Teal's son? I excuse my rudeness, sir. I don't want to excuse your rudeness. Now, we're going to talk to her. What she said? Ever since she heard about your serious northern assignment, Lady Sonya has not looked well. Alright, let's see what this has to say. I know you're not supposed to read people's diaries, but they actually give you a chance to do that in this game. In real life, you couldn't actually do that without getting in trouble. Anyway, Sonya's diary. I heard the General Teo. Teo is going north. Since he is a soldier, it's my only natural... I mean, it's only natural, but still, my heart is bleeding. I hope he returns unharmed. Oh, as my husband and everything, I, I care about him and blah, 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 blah. Anyway. And, and I have a son, um, DVD KMP, but DVD KMP doesn't know it. Whatever. Anyway. Warms to... To be KMP, man. Question mark. Second draw, sir. Hold on a second. I must speak with Sonya. You go on home first. TV KMP. <clears throat> Sonya says. Sonya says. TV KMP. After tomorrow, you won't be able to see your father for a while. Better spend time. It's better to have to spend time with him than not while you can. Don't be a fool, Sonya. Mon, you became Pete. Mon, second or third turn or second, you're not taking this seriously either, are you? Mon. Ha ha ha! 
You're so rude to your son. I know, but hold on, I just want to spend time with you. Juice. I don't want no kids around. My father. Go. I'm. I'm a. I'm from a village for the years called Rockland. I seem to have lost my way. Would you please tell me where Master Malich lives? What is is that the ugly, I mean, unique house? To think? Thank you very much. Whatever. It's so beautiful. <coughs> it's so beautiful here. Great man's and refrigerating is destroyed. The Seven Year War was just. You know, it's so beautiful. All thanks to him for <coughs> buzzing, buzzing. So many country drunkens is wondering about the capital is going down the drain. Don't you agree? And the general Hipper Bob Rosa please report to the office. Please report to the office. This is the principal speaking. Warning. Warning. We're taking your real warmest head. Wow, this is Craig Master. Wow. Whoa, man. Gee, man, I'm so stoned, I don't even know what difference it is. Sure, it's different from my hometown in the boonies. I don't even know what you're on about, dude, so quit, quit smacking your crack or smoking it. I mean, get real, man. Nobody lives out in the damn boonies, except maybe you. Hey, kid, did you see? You know, Teal Pass just by now? It sure is happy to be in the capital or exciting. What? Question mark? You're his son? Question mark? Really? Question mark? No crack in McLatin. They say the real reason for General Teal's trip is to put down the rebels. They call themselves the Liberation Army, but they're nothing but traitors. Dude, I wouldn't even let you even touch one finger on them. I'll finish them someday, ha. Huh? Not with me standing the way you won't. Do you know that Lady Magnet, who lives in Magician's Island, is not all inferior to Lady Winnie? Two sisters, both beautiful, the world is really unfair. Really? You think they're beautiful? <laughs> I don't even care. What's the matter with that dirty old crazy staring at me with those nasty, perverted eyes? I swear I'm going to slap him with a voice. Wait, no, this is the middle of the time. Never mind, you didn't hear anything. Blah, 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 blah. I don't like that part. I don't like that fart cat assistant came out either. Yeah, you can say that all you like. Unfortunately, since we're in this country, we have to put up with it. Until uh, sudden things happen that I can take back the land and make everything fair, especially for the Emperor's sake, even though I have to fight him. Eventually. Yeah. Now we're going to leave. Okay, that was a bit too quick, but yeah. Uh, oh, okay, so here's a medicine shop. Oh, who, what's this guy's got to say? Have you ever heard of rune crystals? Oh, God. You can have them attached to you by a rune master. That gives you magical powers. Did I just say give a magical powers? Oh, never mind. Um, is anybody else here to talk to you? Nope, nobody. Alright, let's go. Yeah, as usual. This is a real master shop. Doy. Armor shop. Armor usually means that. Anyway, when you see a sign. But the thing is, they're kind of combined, so you can go here. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to, to do that. You can just come out, go in this other door here, and then there you are. You're in the audio shop. It doesn't matter how you get there. That's how intertwined they are. Now let's see. They've got bandana, bandana, bandana. Say it right. Anyway. Headband, roll, tunic, leather coat, wooden shoes, wing boots. Can't get that right now. No point anyway. Now let's see what you've got. How do you do? I don't know. Welcome. Now let's see. Medicine and antitoxin. Not all that useful right now. I wouldn't shop here if I were you. Shall I? You'll get cheated. Shut up. If you're getting in the way of my business, get out or get out of here. Now, see, that was very rude. See, that's the dialogue I'll show you in Sakoda 2 that didn't make any sense because the guy wasn't even doing what this guy was doing either here trying to slander this guy's business. So, yeah. 
Redonkulous. Alright, we've already... Maybe I should go back and save, just in case. What do you think? Eh. I think I've got a save state, but I'm not even going to bother because, you know what, I don't even remember which one it was. So let's do this. I don't want to go rest yet. We've done all the talking that we can for now. We're going to go try to level up. Now we're there, we've accomplished saying that we talk to everybody. Alright. Alright. Come on. Come on. Bring on the enemies. Oh, God. Yeah, see right there, that wouldn't have made a difference. I'm going to tell you right now, that wouldn't have made a difference because that battle was already rigged to lose. Now that ant I could have fought against and won, but those bees, oh my god. Yeah. Uh, no. First of all, I'm not ready to fight them anyway, and you, you might might want to consider taking them on with either a level high level, or a little bit not really not super high, but high enough to take them down, and or a full party. It also depends on how many bees there are. Like if you have like six of them, especially in your week, you're better off having a full party, but not at the beginning because there's certain things we need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're spending the night, I recommend the Yaki, and it's just down the street. Now, see here, I'm going to go ahead and try to at least accomplish something here. Is it true that General Team will not be as bad for business? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. War is bad for me. Now, armor shop wise. I'm not going to get Ted anything, but I will, though, when I get more money. Welcome. This is the armor. Now, as always, we are going to get rid of that. And we only have six bucks. And you know what that means? I'm going to sell my tunic. And you know why? Because I don't need it. Now I'm not going to give up my boots because it's too early in the game for that. Let's see if I can remember which one it is. Oh, okay, it's S to bring up the menu. Right, right, right. Okay. I was trying to figure out the keys. <laughs> it's been a while. Yep. There we go. I'm going to get more armor because I'm going to definitely upgrade him so that he can level up. I'm gonna try and get a good enough enemy while I'm here. I'll talk to this guy in a minute. Down there. Now, medicine does come in handy, but when you're limited on funds and you need just like kind of get some money to do stuff with, I would suggest that you go to another uh, place. I'll show you when, when I can. They give you uh, there's this lady there you can do. She becomes a you know she's a very important character anyway. Yeah, comes later, very later in the game. Anyway, occasionally you see a suspicious bunch of people go into the Kyaki Inn and never come out. When do you suppose they leave? Now this guy here, believe it or not, is really redundant. He doesn't even, um, well, he doesn't even get a chance to join us. Uh, it's too late, and he doesn't even better consider it, even when we get to the point where we can actually let him join, so... Well, uh, you know, you're not from hereabouts, are you? We have a daughter named Meg. If you ever run into her, please tell her. Come on, every once in a while, please. Darn that tomboy, Meg! Adventure calls indeed, making her full boy like this. Now, you sir, do not look like a father. I'm sorry, but you're way too young. You don't even look like to be the appropriate age. You look like something else. Of course, and again, nowadays it's just younger and younger for these people to be fathers and, you know, and mothers. God is just, just, I mean, it's not even like it was in the old days. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this here. Get this out of the way because this is the only time you get to see him talk like this. I've got something to tell you. He, <laughs> You know how monsters sometimes leave behind those urns? Well, sometimes you find valuable things in them. He... If you take these things to an appraiser, he... Now, so you can talk to him again and say the same thing. 
This is the only time we get to see him say this, though. He's a very important person, too. See those urns. I got that one right. Now, he won't be here later. No matter what you do. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go in here and sharpen our weapons. Or not our weapons, but one weapon. It's only going to cost me. There we go. Alright, level two. I'm not going to bother maxing them out. Well, it's not completely maxing out, period, just for, for the level because... Or, because only so many lab backsmiths have so many levels that they can do up to. I received information that the Liberation Army has a hideout in this town, but I wonder if it was a lie. Yeah, it was a lie, dude. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and, and my name's not DBDKMP. It's, it's, um, it's Mark Haynes. Um, uh, yeah, because, um, well, you see, the, the, the thing is, I, uh, well, I don't know who you're talking about, but we, uh, I guess we sort of look alike, but I have no relation to him. Lululu. Gotta go. Now that I've got plenty of stuff, where shall I take it? East to Rockland or maybe west past Mount Tiger Wolf? Or to Srady? Oh well, wherever I go, I'll be making a bundle. Okay. Whatever Mount Srady is, Rockland is. Oh, we're finding that out here in a minute. Damn, I was just a bit and someone broke into my room. I lost my life savings, man. Really? It couldn't have been the guy we just talked to that told us about urns, could it? Could it? Hmm. Yeah, that's... By the way, that's a hint to something I just said, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll show you that later. Anyway. Welcome to the Kiyaki Inn. My bed is seven visits per person. I'll throw it in the roughest. No, we will not be resting because we have no point to you because we haven't lost any help, so I'm right there. Now we are prepared to somewhat go into battle. And that will be your next team on C Coden. Anyway, this has been your host, on YouTube, Judas King of Evil. For the games, DVD KMP, the Black Death King and the most professional in the hell. Yo yo yo. Peace and peace out, y'all. Talk to y'all later.